Hi, and welcome back to Buena Vida Route. If you've been following along our latest videos, you know we had started a series on interviews we did of three longtime friends that together collect, restore, and travel in VW buses. We deviated a bit to other videos as our travels and meetups continued, but we wanted to come back and share Pete's story of the two buses he took to this campground in Chino Hills. If you missed the last video, we will leave you the link here and in the description for you to catch up. Plus, plus don't forget to subscribe as the story will continue in the next couple of videos. Besides, don't miss Pete. He is definitely a character. So this is gentleman number two. We're going to have him introduce himself and then tell us a little bit about two of the vans that he has over here. You want to tell us your name? Yes. Well, good morning, and it was an absolute pleasure meeting both of you Thank yesterday you. evening. That was just so fun. Andreas and Sher Sh Sherry. Sh Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah. <laughs> Great biscuits, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we, we gave them some biscuits this morning for breakfast. Oh, they were very, very good. <laughs> thank so, you. Actually, we had first and second. So yeah, right? yeah. Layered. <laughs> anyway, why don't we start with the 1967? Okay. So this is the first one I, I was able to get. And I the, the way this was acquired, it's kind of an unusual story. Um, in, a little, in a way, it's kind of Cinderella-like. I had a 1969 that looked like very similar to this but without the pop top okay and we had just finished it actually the friend frank and i uh-huh uh, actually worked on that one a long long time ago so it was sitting in the front yard minding its own business not bothering anybody and an f-150 just runs right into the back of it <gasps> oh, smacks no. it hard and you know i i'm in my office so i can't immediately just get up so right so my poor wife she gets this about 11 o'clock at night too so my poor wife jumps up out of bed Goes around, she goes, she knocks on the bathroom door, Pete, there's, I said, I, okay, I'm trying, I'm almost there. So anyway, so she said, someone hit your truck and your bus is in the driveway. Oh. <laughs> so it was parked in the street and it got bumped up to the driveway. Oh no. Fortunately, no one was hurt. The bus was totaled. I was just devastated. Uh, I'd never had anything like that happen before. And I'm glad no one was hurt. Even did the, the person that hit you stop at least? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. In fact, we 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 were able to help him a little bit, mm. and um, he had reached down. And it's so common. Remember the days when you have a CD and you go to put oh, a CD. Oh yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think he looked up, and the next thing you know, there's my bus. I don't know exactly. I was I didn't see it actually happen, right. but I could I could have envisioned that happen right. very easily. Anyway, super nice guy. Heartbroken that it happened. Um, his insurance company was, uh, like all insurance companies, it's a negotiation. Right. But we were able to get a pretty good settlement. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't able to find a bus immediately to replace the 1969. So right. my neighbor, Mike, had this 1967 combi for pretty much the same condition that it's in now. Oh wow! So you, when you already, when you got it, was already this color. Yes. How beautifully painted and all. Yes. Oh. And so my wife also liked it a lot. I yeah. mean, a lot, a lot. So it was really easy to convince her that this would be a good bus stuff. And the other thing, Mike says, I'll sell it to you for the same price as the settlement. Oh, my goodness. No, it was $1,000 less. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I couldn't believe it. So I, I, I went for this. Oh, my gosh. It ran. It had a very nice engine. I got a really good deal, and I'm not afraid to tell anybody. It was a friend. It was a bro deal, uh -huh. and uh, I've always been very appreciative of that. How rare is it to find one of these that has the split doors instead of the sliding door? Because I had never really experienced one of these before. It's so, always been the sliding door. Great question. On on 1967 and earlier ones, uh -huh. almost like 99.9% .9 of them have these these split doors okay. you know, pull open like this. There are some sliders that they were experimenting with even back in the early 60s, uh -huh. but they didn't go into like what I would call a full production. So it wasn't as common. They had them out there, but not as common. Okay, so they would do these that nowadays we call them suicide, suicide doors? These, because they open up like this? No? Some people call them barn doors. I think that's a good oh. description. Uh, you know, because like this? Yeah. But then there's a bus that's called the barn door bus. This is not a barn door bus. The okay. barn door bus, the hatch on the back, uh -huh. the back hinges are like way up here. Oh, well, we actually just saw one of those <laughs> not too long ago. 
They're they use it for a flower shop. Okay. Uh huh. They're very, very expensive and very rare because okay. they're so there just weren't that many of them. I see. So 1967 though was a good year to get because it was already converted to a 12 volt system. Oh. So all the modern electronics, including uh -huh. like light bulbs. Um, well, light bulbs and stereo equipment is plenty. That's that's right. enough for, for the car to work. I don't have any AC, so it just works fine. Okay. But there is a and when And when we met you yesterday, I'm so sorry to interrupt. You said right. that this also has split windows. Can you tell us what that means? Yes. Let's step over here. Okay. Just to this feature right here. And that the front windshield is split into two pieces. Oh, okay. And so these are sometimes called splitties, split windows. You okay. Know, um, those are the two I've those, those are the two I've heard. This but, this is the kind that comes out in the movie Cars. I believe so. I believe <laughs> that's the one. I don't yeah. know. Do you have children or grandchildren that I ever do. watch that? And I think this is the one. Yeah. Yes. Now you know this because it looks like a face. <laughs> it looks like it has eyes. It's like smiling, huh? Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. You know, I have to say this: of, of one of the nice things about these cars is they look, they just look cute. Yes. I don't think there's anything wrong with looking just cute, and I mean I don't have that problem. My wife says I look like a criminal, so <laughs> just for what it's worth. <laughs> you know? So if someone, something I have looks cute, I'm good with that. <laughs> anyway. So my wife really likes this and she's the one that kind of keeps it going, but she's also a big fan of using these for the way they were supposed to be used. So she's okay with this being used as a camper. Okay. So not only does this carry people mm -hmm. uh, on a regular basis, I don't have the middle seat anymore. If I did, that would be worth uh, just the uh, oodles of money. Ooh. Yeah, like over probably just for the frame with no material on it, $2,000, $2,500. That's a lot of money. Yeah. But it's for, for folks that want that originality. Of I'm, course. I, I'm, if I had one, it'd be nice to have, but I don't have to have one. No. Because. Because you've turned it into a camp. Vision of, do I put it in the garage forever like a lot of folks did? This is my auto opener. <laughs> <laughs> Clever. Thank you. <laughs> my carpet gets a little messed up with the bed in place, but I do want to show this to you. Whoops. You want me to move this? Oh, that would be good. So anyway, you can see these open up really nicely. Yeah. And I kind of like this look. It's kind of inviting, you know. Um, right. It Now this bed system is an aftermarket bed and it looks like it's kind of leaning down. Uh, it's called a jackknife sofa? Sort of like that. Yeah? It's sort of like that. But when I sleep on it, I'm actually pretty level. Okay. I have no complaints. I slept really well last night. It's the first time I used it. and. Um, I was real pleased. And, and what the, one of the things I like too, uh, even though it's not like a full on camper, you know, I'm out of the weather. Right. Um, I mean, that's, that's a nice feature. I mean, if I want the weather, I can open up the windows, but I don't necessarily have to have it. So at least I have that option. Excuse me. There's lots of room here. Yeah. We could sit, play guitar in here. You know, which is always something oh, yeah. fun to we do. We were listening to him play guitar <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, that. And when you got it, it was already upholstered like this with the striping? Uh, yes, yeah. almost identical. Wow. You know, I, I, I kept it, I fixed a couple of things, but not many. Okay. But I've only had to fix a couple of things. I did have to paint it once, um, but that was just to keep it, we had a little, we had a little accident. Mm -hmm. So to, to make it look as nice as it used to, we just decided to repaint the whole car. Right. And um, it was great. Wow. Frank actually helped me, my friend Frank. So uh -huh. sand away forever. Oh yeah, we, we know about that. Okay. Oh, we, we definitely know about that. <laughs> All the cleaning of the old ceilings and everything. <laughs> First you have to sand this way, then this way, right? Right. <laughs> and then this way again. And anyway, but oh my goodness. But this is very comfortable for two people. Yeah, it is, yeah. it and, is. And it's plenty sturdy. And so when you go camping, you take a little stove and a, and a cooler and yes. any of the equipment and I, you do all of the cooking outside. I do. And so, so even though this isn't like an officially a camper, I just bring a cooler, right? Mm -hmm. I have a little one burner stove back there. Oh yeah, a little propane one. That is, that seems to work really well. I, if I had a sink in here, which, which, which this one actually has one, but it's not installed. I, I can't, I just can't see myself doing dishes inside a Volkswagen bus. It's just not. That I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, 
Anyway, so all things, that's like one of those things, I don't know why they put it in there. But that said, if it's in the bus and they go to sell it, it increases the resale value. Correct. So I just keep it in the garage. Oh, okay. That's for this one. I don't have one for this uh -huh. one. I mean to jump ahead. As original. Yeah. As possible. So mm -hmm. anyway. I Is just... this original to it as well? This like strap? Yes. Oh. Yes. So I. Interesting. Some of them had like a, remember they had like a, a black rubber stopper yeah, here? Yeah, I remember that. So mine does not have that. And okay. I have these straps instead. Now I think at one time it had those stops. I just don't know what happened to them. And it, since mm -hmm. it doesn't bang, I'm okay with it the way mm -hmm. it is. So okay. I've, I've always, on these, and this isn't always true, but this is never was gonna, this was never gonna be a show bus. It was mm -hmm. always gonna be a bus that was gonna be used. For you yes, and your family. And our family. So mm -hmm. we thought, well, let's get it so it's the most versatile to be used. So we set it up for just traveling and camping. Mm -hmm. but, I'm, this could be driven across the United States tomorrow. Sure can. And without having, I think with the exception of being blown around by the wind, because <laughs> they're prone to that, I can make it without too much problem. Right. And and they are fun to drive and you get a lot of thumbs up. Sometimes yeah. though, you get the peace sign and sometimes the number one sign, I'm not sure it's always the number one sign. <laughs> but, <laughs> Let's hope it is, right? <laughs> All right, let me close it back up for you. Sure, thank you. Want to give us your support? We would love to see you wearing our merch. You can find the link in the description of our Etsy page. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit like, and share. Don't forget to also follow us on Instagram and TikTok for more recent updates of what it is that we're up to. And if you want to watch more of our videos, click to the right.